Yeah, what a what a tremendous environment. What a great college basketball game. Uh, Oklahoma basketball is, is in great hands. I have a ton of respect for Coach Mosier and the way they compete. I mean, they just they get after it. And I thought their physicality as the game went on really caused us problems. I mean, they got to the free throw line, put us on our heels. And then thanks to this guy and the belief of our team, we just stayed in the fight. And, you know, ultimately I did think our ability to get some stops and get out in transition opened the game up. And then this guy's defense really gave us an edge. You know, Pop Isaacs was guarding the ball. Joe Toussaint was guarding the ball. And then we're able to put him on the ball, and he's worked extremely hard. He just said he had a career high of eight rebounds. I mean, it wasn't just his shot making, which was awesome, but it was his it, the way he competed today that I thought helped us win this basketball game and couldn't be happier for this guy, a phenomenal teammate. Chance McMillan just really wants to win. And uh, I thought this game showed that. Nathan, you can start. Chance, what is it about this team? You guys have faced several comebacks. All these big ball teams have been in comeback fashion. What is it about this team that makes you guys be able to kind of pull that off, especially today? Um, I would say it's our togetherness. Like off the court, we are like really close with each other. So we're able to like trust each other on the court. And whenever we're down, like we don't panic at all. Like we just figure out a way how to, how to, how to win this game. And so it's our togetherness. I just like the adversity. Uh, like I already know going into a game, we're most likely not like going to win. So I just like the adversity going into it. You know, over the course of the game, I thought we played the personnel pretty well. And then they have guys that are good players, obviously, but maybe don't make as many shots in different scenarios, make some. And so to us, it's like, how can you withstand those momentum swings? But honestly, like, don't lose sight of that and panic offensively. Because sometimes when games like that, you get down, you have a tendency to try to get it back too quick. That would be one. And then two, I did feel like our transition baskets really helped us. Like Pop Isaac's transition baskets, Joe Toussaint's, it, you don't have to do it against set defense. Their defense is good. Now, I mean, if they can tee you up and they can get you, you know, in a ball screen coverage between them, they, they're just well coached. And we talked about it at halftime. Like, you're not going to score off the first ball screen. So quit trying. Like, get to the next action. Well, those transition baskets, it just opened up the game for us. And, and I felt like it was, those were big momentum uh, moves to get us back into the game. Well, I mean, that's, that's, what, that's what we just talked about all, all week, and thankfully we did have a week of prep in this. Um, but it's like how physical can you be on the ball and how can you rotate guys where you can stay fresh and make it difficult. And I did feel like we just had enough activity level with our whole team with physicality that we could just keep going over and keep going over and put two on the ball. He's a great passer. I thought he made a lot of great passes. Um, but I thought it was just dis disruptive enough to where he couldn't couldn't get in a rhythm. Okay. You know, Grant, uh, only a third of the way through the conference season, but you're five and one ahead of the pack. Did you see this kind of quick start for you guys? Honestly, I don't care about anything past like what we're doing with this immediate team. I, honestly, I mean, there's a lot of things going on in this league, and the moment you start looking other than the group that you're with and how you improve on a daily basis, I just think you make mistakes. I really do. And so I was a junior college coach when I was 26, 27 years old, head coach. And I used to count, like, if we could just get to this number, then, like, I quit doing that because it don't work. I mean, the moment you start looking at that, you take your intention off of how you can improve. And that's the blessing of experience. And I'm thankful to Ron Jones and Forrest Allen for giving me an opportunity at 27 to be a head coach because you don't get the experience unless you do that. And so I just love these guys. I just tell them all the time, like, a lot going on out there. But how can we improve every day and how can we love each other well? And that sounds kind of corny, but, like, that's the only thing we really care about. We really don't care about anything else. It doesn't matter the standings. We don't care about the standings. We just want to get better and, like, who we playing next and let's figure out a way to beat them. That's just where we're at. Yeah, I mean, you, you know what it is. I mean, you look at the numbers. I mean, somebody showed it to me today. I think 32% of the 
I mean, the, the road wins, just it's as low as it's ever been in the Big 12 and uh, top 25 teams or whatever. It's just a difficult advantage because of the environments. And this environment was awesome today. I mean, when they went on that run and made – made the stretch and put it to nine and we had to call it was wild you know and I just uh, my hat's off to the, the people here because you could tell there was a good energy in this building I thought it really helped them um, but that's what it is what he said is like how do you who enjoys the adversity and I think we have a group that like actually does like it you know they some people don't we were playing at Houston I watched them come off the court and we were getting beat pretty good and I just wanted to see who was walking off like this is so hard or who was walking off like Let's find a way to win. And I told them that. So I just think these guys walk off the court whenever what happens, like walking into those timeouts, talking about what are we going to do to win. It's awesome. Nick, I want more on the How do you kind of keep this momentum going now that you have another road game and Chris kind of puts the Yeah, honestly, I don't even know what it is next, but we'll figure out when we get back in there and get on the plane and watch film and try to figure out how we can get better from this one and then pour our hearts into it tonight, later, of who we play next. Thank y'all.